Okay, guys, let's try this, okay? I'm going to leave you with a lesson right now on uh, what we can do today. Okay, ultimately, we're in our uh, animation portion of the contact rotation in grade 9, and we've all taken our pictures, and uh, perhaps we've used our own devices, such as an iPod and or uh, an iPhone. And what I'm doing right now is connecting that through the USB port of my computer. You can do uh, the same on your iMac in class. Um, as well, at this point, anytime you do um, connect your device, uh, I think uh, the way things are set up, iTunes will um, intercept. So what we want to do is quit iTunes right off the bat and say bye-bye. Okay, quit. Thanks for coming out. Next thing I'm going to do is start up iPhoto, because that's where I want to bring the pictures in. Right? So iPhoto will do its little magic, and eventually you'll see a blue box here that says import photos. And the way go to go about it is you select a photo, then um, shift select the last photo that you want, and select um, choose import photos. Okay, so let's see, um, if I click over here, and I'm going to just come in here, let's say I click once here, right, one, if I click once, that image is highlighted, and if I hold shift, select the last one, all the images are selected, okay? Eventually what you can do is uh, you would select import selected and boom, uh, drag it onto your desktop. What I suggest you do prior to dragging, right click and create a new folder. My animation, okay? It's an eclipse, okay? So it's there. And I've done the same thing myself. Just in case, okay, I'm just going to backtrack. So let's continue here. I'm just going to click and drag, right? So boom, all 15 are in there. You notice that? Now let's say in case that someone here um, took a picture, but the rotation is off. Let me explain. Okay, so I'm in my folder. I look at, let's say, picture number two, or whatever, whichever picture, and I notice here that this image is upside down. Uh oh, what do we do at this point? It's very simple. Apple's um, preview app is very powerful. So let's see what we can do here. It's very simply right click and open with is what we want to do, okay? Let me just right click, open with, here, preview, right? And the beauty with preview at this point, um, any changes you make is automatically saved back. So if I commit, uh, press command R once and twice and my image is rotated, okay? So again, to do that would simply be view, I believe, where am I? I'm in preview, tools, yeah, rotate, there we go. It's the same thing, rotate right, command R, rotate left, command left. So I like hotkeys myself, that's no worries. So this one's done, see, boom. So then I can, can proceed on to the next one. So let's look at number two, let's go to number three, right click on this, open with, preview, and immediately, command R, command R, and then close it. Okay? Not too bad. And notice that immediately the effect's taken. So I will pause the video here, and I'll continue with the rest, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and um, I'm actually at this point, I'm going to close iPhoto. Obviously, we could have done this in Photoshop, but at this time, I'm saying, let's not. Okay? So quit iPhoto. Bye-bye. iPhoto is gone. Next, I want to start iMovie. You guys had fun with the Spider-Man uh, trailer. No, thank you. We don't want the updates right now. And the thing to do here, basically, I made a, a run at this earlier. I'll just make a new one with you guys, okay? So we'll just start right here. Go new project. And at this point, I want no theme. Let's call this my animation. Of course, this would be where you would place your name. My animation. And don't worry about 24 frames per second or 30 because we're actually going to reduce it to a fraction of a uh, second per frame. Okay, we're going to go to create. And at this point, we have a couple options, okay? We can actually bring in our images through a still icon here. See the photo icon at this point? And what I want to do is actually, ideally, you would have all these images saved in iPhoto. Okay, so let's say we didn't do that. We have it in our desktop. So there is another method of bringing this in. Watch this. I'm just going to drag this to the right. I'm just going to click on my folder. And it's quite intuitive, actually. So just click up here. Select your first image like before. Hold Shift to the last. And notice that we've selected all of them. Okay, so I'm just going to click, left click, and drag over here. And I'll have my still fill, um, picks coming in. Okay, 15 picks are being dragged onto the space. Sweet, we're happy. All right, good to go here. Okay, so notice a couple things now. 
this is the project window here, and we called it My Animation because I already have one. And if I slide through, notice that this animation has these weird effects going on. Um, so we will get to the bottom of it. First and foremost, if you click on any of them in the gear shift here and go to um, Clip Adjustment, let's see what happens, okay? Now, the clip automatically, by default, is set to 4 seconds. What I want to do is change that to 0 0.1. Okay, and the good thing is here, look how intuitive this is. Would you like to apply this effect to all the other stills? Absolutely, I don't want to do this 15 times. All right, video effect, none. And thank you, we don't want any of this, okay? So if you want to try it, play around, okay, I don't blame you. But let's keep it to none, because this is about animation. So done. Um, so let's look, what other options did we have? We had something else, cropping Ken Burns. Now, do we want any of this? No, we don't, okay? Sometimes, if your images are not aligning well in the viewfinder here, what you may want to do is select fit. Okay, so if you do that, and unfortunately you have to go on each one to do that. So you see how if I just go to fit, boom, that's done. Same here, if I go to fit, and things are happening. Okay, this is just in case that you had um, your, your image was off the page. I've noticed that in the last rotation. So I'm just doing that quickly right now. Boom, fit just to make sure that I don't have any of these effects happening. I don't want any Ken Burns effect on that. Okay, so click, boom, and so on, fit. It's taking the whole visual, right? So I'm taking my whole shot. And again, I didn't use a tripod for this um, to shoot. I just quickly did this on my kitchen table just to give you an example. Done, okay? So at this point, if I press the play icon here, You'll see the bouncing ball. This is a fraction of all the drawings I've made. So no big deal. That's kind of cool. I think what we need next is audio. And again, you noticed here we had photo, right? And this time, let's go to um, audio. And I believe I've downloaded a bunch of folders for you. I've actually uploaded. And in the iLife and iMovie, welcome to use any of these. Let's see. What are, can I Okay, so I think what I can do here... Um, Ultimately, I think I should add something. So I thought maybe perhaps on the jingles part, come in here, Boza Lounge here. Let's try this out here. And whoa, uh, should have went back up. B-O-S-S-A, I believe. Let's go. Pick one. I think there's something like, okay, short. I'll just click on it and drag. Make it green. Lovely. And we can see that it actually works nicely here. Let's just press play. That's sweet, beautifully edited. Okay, I'm very happy with this. Okay, let's just go to export at this point, uh, share, export using QuickTime. You guys are familiar with this process. The key here is to name it as one, your animation, and second, have it in the folder where you have your images. Fair enough, right? Good stuff, thank you very much. Let's go to save, and let me cancel that. Let's make that number three, animation three. project. I think that'll do it. Okay. And that should work for us. I'll uh, just go over there and retrieve my animation. You'll see it's in the folder. Okay. It should be number three this time. Let's play. Boom. Sweet. We're good to go. I hope you enjoy your class today, guys. Take care.